So today we're getting ready for the Christmas of Hope event. And these are all of the toys from our family's wish lists. It's our biggest event of the year. It's where we put on Christmas. It's my happiest time because it's where all of our families are in one room together, which is like my dream. <laughs> it's like my dream. This year, uh, we're having a first time thing. We are actually gifting a minivan in excellent working condition to uh, one of 14 families who applied. And this family is going, their lives I'm sure are gonna change because of it. Uh, she is a mom of six kids. Um, she's 30 years old. She's been sober for three years. She's trying to get her high school diploma. And we are going to announce her as the winner on Monday. I'm about to cry. <laughs> Yeah, this is the first time we've ever given a vehicle to a family. There's always challenges. There's always the idea of, are we going to raise enough money to pull this off? And it's our 13th year in that feeling. It, it's always there, every single year. It's still there. It's two days away and we're still raising money to pull this thing off. So prayer and social media can change the world. <laughs> it can absolutely change the world. So yes, we pray and we post. Working with my mom has been really amazing. I'm basically just a mini version of her. I've learned a lot of different skills. I've helped a lot of different people and it's something that I expect to do for the rest of my life. I think Sofisa is different from other charities because I think Sofisa really tries to get to the root of a problem and then stays with families for years and years and years. I had a foster sister who came from one of our families. I still know her today. I've known her for 15 years. Like we build relationships and we invest in them as people and continue to try to see them grow and better themselves. People who live in the circumstances as a lot of our families do are only living day to day, only living to survive. They're not living to live. And so this is a moment where they can feel relaxed, they can feel safe, and they can bring joy into their lives and get out of that mode and maybe think of how to better themselves instead of just trying to figure out how to survive. My first um, Christmas where I was homeless, I was actually pregnant. I ended up living in a, a crack and prostitution house. It was the only thing that my boyfriend at the time could find for me. The drive in everything that we do at Sofisa is because I've looked back at my life. Who were the people? What were the circumstances? What were the moments? that I was able to escape survival mode. And what was the impact? So who here saw the blue minivan with the big red bow on it outside? It's time for me to announce the winner of the car. Okay? Lisbon. Come here, sweetheart. <laughs> I thought you guys were messing with me. I'm like, you guys are playing, right? I'm like, ah, they're playing with me. And she's like, no, come on. I'm like, nah. I'm like, no, no, no. I couldn't believe it. I came out here crying, screaming. My kids were crying. Look at my kids cry. I started crying even more. And then I told one of the, the guys, like, pinch me. He's like, it's yours. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. I mean, it's been a, it's been a crazy journey for us, man. And I'm sorry, I'm just, it's been very crazy for us. And just to know that this is ours, it's, it's unbelievable. I fight so hard for my kids, you have no idea. And for myself too, just to keep my head up. And the moments that I did, wanted to give up, I did it because, oh, look at them. Because I'm everything that they have, you know. Now we're all gonna write together as a family.
sure, but it's going to be yours. Okay. Yeah. David! Oh, you're